funny film, Peanut Butter Falcon. Um, or I've recently watched The Birdcage with Robin Williams. That is hilarious. I've watched it twice in two weeks. I loved it. Hi from Amsterdam. I want to go to Amsterdam next month. Thank you very much, Senor Gorgeous. Amsterdam is my second favourite place. Actually, no, it's probably joint favourite. Favourite place for different times of the year. So Amsterdam is my favourite in winter. Ibiza is my favourite in summer. Absolutely love Amsterdam. God did some of his best work here. Lovely. Hello from Texas. Texas is my favourite accent. You've missed me doing my favourite accent, but I was doing a Southern Bale accent earlier. Do you want kids? Yes, I want three. You sound very emotionally intelligent. Thank you so much. Going now. Good night, babe. Good night, darling. I couldn't care about what you think. Immature for pulling someone. It's down. I One down. It's not me. It's you. I didn't say anything about that. So, don't know where that's come from. If you could relive one day of your life, what would that day be? It's not going to be a happy day. It'd be the day my best friend died. And I'd go grab him and hug him and I'd kiss him. And I'd make sure he didn't. That, sorry, that question really hit me hard, that did. Sorry. Whew. What do you do if your friend's been asking about your SP? Sorry, that sorry, sorry, that was a bit of a deep answer. But it was an honest answer. That would be honestly what I did. I'd go relive that one. And I'd try and make sure he didn't. Um, what do you do if your best friend's asking about your SP? If he hasn't been messaging you or seeing you, just say... I don't want to talk about it. I'm focusing on myself right now. Literally just that. I don't want to talk about it. I'm focusing on myself right now. Um, can you lie and say he's been messaging you, seeing you? Like, you can if you want to, but then if they find out you're lying, or even worse, if the SP or the ex or the boyfriend or whoever, the boy, like, girl, if they find out you've been saying that, you're going to look a little bit batshit crazy, and you're going to feel it as well. So honestly, the best way to... The best thing to say is, I don't really want to talk about it. I just want to keep it to myself and I'm focusing on me right now. It's not a lie. Uh, try Surfers Paradise Gold Coast Australia. I would love to go to Australia. My best friend is moved. Well, she's going traveling to Thailand tomorrow and then she's going to Australia. And um, my other best friend lives in Australia, so I will be there at some point in the next year. Hello, love. I'm Dixon. Hi, darling. Um, sending you hugs for that question. Thank you so much. How did your best friend die? Ignore if you don't want to answer. He had a lung hemorrhage and he was 28 years old. And it was very random. It was, wasn't planned. It was just, it was a Wednesday afternoon. I found out at half past three. And so if I could go back to any day, I would go back to nine o'clock that morning and I would make sure he was safe. Um... <laughs> I would really live my wedding day so I could run in the opposite direction. I love that one. You are unbelievable. Thank you so much. Shape of my heart. Thank you. Um, I'm from South Africa. Oh, I love that. One of my best friends is from South Africa. And one of my friends is travelling South Africa. Thank you. I didn't want to say he's not my sister because it goes against my manifestations. Totally understand that. Girl. I, comp I completely understand that. Just say I don't want to talk about it. None of your business, bitch. You're unbelievable. Thank you. That accent makes you sound super intelligent. Really? Like, what do you mean this one? I think you're taking the piss. And... I don't know if that's sarcastic. If it's if it's if it's a compliment, thank you so much. But I really don't think it is because I think my accent is trash. I've got a really good self concept, but I think my accent is very like I feel like my I think my voice is very deep, and I speak a bit like I say in it and slang and that's sick. I speak a bit boyish to be fair. I'm a bit of, I'm a big tomboy. 
Uh, what do you do for work? Mindset coach. Been doing this business for six years. Been on TikTok for about seven months. Um, and I've got an eyelash extension business as well. I also do for, for my dad's business. So yeah, how old are you? I'm 29 years old. 30 in March. What do you do to not receive hot and cold behaviour? So I've kind of just answered this question, but you've got to be consistent with your self-concept, be consistent with your self-worth, be consistent with your conviction with inside you. That is the best way to transform hot and cold behaviour. Usually hot and cold behaviour comes from being hot and cold with your own energy. Did you say mindset coach? Yeah, so I basically... You can call it life coach, mindset coach, whatever you manifestation coach. Like, I don't really like any of these terms. I basically help you get whatever the fuck you want in life by helping you get rid of the bullshit that's in your mind that's keeping you in the way. That's what I do for a living. Thank you so much. I know your pain lost my boyfriend two years ago to a brain and that like, darling. I'm so sorry and I'm sending you so much love. And if you are here um, right now... I know how much you have suffered in the past two years and how much grief is an absolute... I was about to say the C word, but... And I would say the C word if I wasn't alive, but I don't want to offend anybody. Grief is the word... I wouldn't wish grief on my worst enemy. I don't even know how I'm here today, to be fair, because of the grief. So if it was your boyfriend or your best friend, I have no idea, like... Sending you so much love because it's vile. No, I don't... Own